Guns played a major role during the Wild West era. Here are some of them which were considered the most brutal during the time. Well, the main selling point of gun is its reliability and accuracy, and these were used by just about anyone. With six rounds in it, that firing pin is going to be either resting on the primer or you're at that first notch, which is also kind of fragile. And if you pop it, you'll break it and chip off the hammer and, you know, maybe fire the gun. Number one, Colt Peacemaker. Also known as the Colt Single Action Army, the Peacemaker was a gun that could be f that could fire six bullets before reload. It was introduced in 1873. It was chamber it was chambered in .45 Colt and .44 to 40. The gun was known for its accuracy and reliability, and so it was widely used by lawmen or sheriffs, soldiers, and civilians alike. So the gun was involved in many famous gunfights of the Wild West. The Colt Peacemaker might just be one of the most iconic handguns of the Wild West. It was a single action revolver, which means that the hammer had to be manually cocked before each shot. Even though it may sound inconvenient to Today, it sure does have its charms. The Peacemaker was also available in various finishes, including blued, nickel-plated, and engraved. The Peacemaker was involved in many famous gunfights of the Wild West, including the gunfight at the OK Coral in Tombstone, Arizona in 1881. It was also used by famous lawmen such as Wyatt Earp and Bat Masterson, as well as outlaws such as Jesse James and Billy the Kid. Despite being known as the Peacemaker, the Colt SAA wasn't as peaceful, but rather a deadly weapon. It was capable of firing powerful rounds that could take down both humans and animals with ease. Its accuracy and reliable made it a popular choice for law enforcement and self-defense, and it remains an iconic symbol of the Wild West to this day. In addition, its use to the Wild West, the Colt Peacemaker, was also used by the U.S. military. It was used in the Indian Wars, the Spanish-American War, and Philippine-American War. Even though the Peacemaker was eventually replaced by newer semi-automatic handguns, much more advanced, its legacy is still alive. The Peacemaker was and still is a symbol of the American frontier, and remains a beloved firearm among collectors and enthusiasts. Smith & Wesson was making money with small-caliber revolvers but it would be the Big Bore Model 3 that put the company on the map. But it wasn't the U.S. map. The big order came from Russia, and that gives the Model 3 the nickname, the Russian, that's now one of history's guns. Number two, Smith & Wesson Model 3. The SNW Model 3 was a formidable revolver that competed with the famous Colt Single Action Army. I wouldn't say it was better, and well, everyone has their own taste, but it surely wasn't a toy. Built during the late 1800s, it was much like the Peacemaker, a six-shot revolver that was chambered in several different calibers, including Colt .44-40, .45 Long Colt, and a .38-40. The revolver had a top brake design, which made it easier and quicker when reloading, and that would have made it a lot easier for gun gunmen to reload, as compared to the Colt Single Action Army. The Model 3 was also known for its accuracy and reliability, which quickly made it a popular weapon among cowboys and lawmen. It was widely used by the U.S. Army and shipped to military forces all around the world. The Model 3 was produced in several different variations, including target models, which had longer barrels, and adjustable sights, which helped a shooter by increasing accuracy, but one of the Model 3's most notable features was its unique Russian model. This model had an extra safety catch on the side of the frame. The safety catch was very thoughtful as it prevented the gun from firing accidentally, which made it very popular among military forces that used the revolver. There's no doubt that the Smith & Wesson Model 3 was a high-quality revolver that was carefully made and properly thought of. The design made it easier to reload, and its accuracy, which is a very high selling point, made it a popular choice among shooters, but much like changing times, the Model 3's popularity declined after a new revolutionary gun was introduced, the double-action revolver. But it was a popular gun among collectors and enthusiasts. To sum it all up, it was a worthy competitor to the Colt Single Action Army and a popular gun of the Wild West. Its accuracy and reliability made it a popular choice among cowboys and lawmen, and its unique variations and designs made it a collectible among gun enthusiasts. The Remington 1875, as you'll agree, it's quite a nice looking piece. It's quite weighty, very real, uh, and quite powerful for a CO2 pistol. This is one of my most powerful CO2 pistols, at 3.2 joules. Number 3. Remington Model 1875 The Model 1875, also known as the Remington Army Model, was a powerful six-shot revolver that was introduced in 1875. It was chambered in a .45 Colt and was one of the most powerful handguns of its time. The large caliber of the revolver made it capable of taking down even the largest game, and it was highly respected by cowboys and outlaws alike. The Remington Model 1875 was a sturdy and reliable weapon, and it saw use by both the U.S. Army during the Indian Wars and by civilians in the Wild West. It had a solid frame and was built to withstand 
rapid heavy use, making it a popular choice among cowboys and lawmen. Their revolver featured a single action mechanism which meant that the hammer had to be manually cocked before each shot. This made the weapon slower to fire than some of its contemporaries, but also made it more accurate and reliable. The Remington Model 1875 was a well-balanced revolver, and was easy to aim and shoot accurately. The Remington Model 1875 had a barrel length of 7.5 inches, and an overall length of 13 inches. It weighed around 2.5 pounds, making it a relatively heavy weapon. The revolver was often carried in a holster, which allowed for quick and easy access in the event of a gunfight. Overall, the Remington Model 1875 was a powerful and reliable weapon that was highly respected by cowboys and outlaws alike. It saw use in many famous gunfights of the Wild West, and remains an iconic symbol of the era to this day. First of all, let me give you a little history on where the Schofield came from. Originally, Smith & Wesson put together a, a Model 3 American, and that was in competition with the Colt Single Action Army. Number 4. Schofield Revolver The Schofield Revolver was a popular handgun during the late 19th century and was used by many cowboys and lawmen of the Wild West. Designed by Major George W. Schofield of the U.S. Army in 1870, it was a top-break revolver that was a vast improvement over the earlier Model 3 revolver produced by Smith & Wesson. The Schofield Revolver was chambered in .45 Schofield, which was a shorter and more powerful version of the .45 Colt cartridge. The shorter cartridge made it easier to reload quickly, and the revolver's unique top-break design allowed for fast and easy reloading. One of the most notable features of the Schofield revolver was its trigger guard latch, which could be used to hold the cylinder in place during reloading. This was a significant improvement over earlier revolvers, which required the user to manually hold the cylinder in place while reloading. The Schofield revolver was known for its accuracy and reliability, and it was a favorite of many famous Wild West personalities, including Jesse James, Wyatt Earp, and Billy the Kid. It was also used by the U.S. Army during the Indian Wars, and it saw action in conflicts such as the Battle of Little Bighorn. Overall, the Schofield revolver was a significant advancement in handgun technology during its time. Its innovative design and powerful cartridge made it a popular weapon among cowboys, lawmen, and soldiers alike, and it played a significant role in the history of the Wild West. That was a 40 or a 42 mm -hmm. caliber gun, and it had a 20 gauge center barrel. This is a cylinder revolving yeah. around a 20 gauge barrel. And that was all percussion loaded mm -hmm. from the muzzle. Number 5. Lamar Revolver This revolver was unique in that it had a secondary barrel underneath the main barrel that could fire a single shotgun round. It was used by Confederate soldiers during the Civil War and was later used by cowboys and outlaws in the Wild West. It was a deadly weapon that could take down multiple targets at once. The Lamette Revolver was a unique and innovative weapon that was designed by Dr. Jean-Alexandre Lamette, a Frenchman living in New Orleans. The revolver was first introduced in 1856 and was quickly adopted by the Confederate Army during the Civil War. It was a favorite of Confederate generals such as J.E.B. Stewart and Nathan Bell. Bedford Forest, who appreciated their revolver's versatility and firepower. The Lamac revolver was a .44 caliber revolver that had a 9-shot cylinder. In addition to the main barrel which fired the .44 caliber bullets, the revolver also had a secondary barrel that was located underneath the main. This could also fire a single shotgun round, making the Lamac revolver a deadly weapon that could take down multiple targets at once. The shotgun barrel of the Lamac revolver was loaded with buckshot and was ideal for close-range combat. The revolver was also equipped with a loading lever, which made it easier to reload for the weapon in the heat of the battle. After the Civil War, the Lamette revolver became a popular among cowboys and outlaws in the Wild West. It was a favorite of gunfighters such as John Wesley Hardin and Wild Bill Haycock, who appreciated the revolver's versatility and firepower. Today, the Lamette revolver is considered a rare and valuable collector's item. It's widely regarded as one of the most innovative and unique firearms of the 19th century, and is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the early firearms designers. Did we miss your favorite gun? Let the community know in the comment section below, and we'll take notes and add them in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to, no to get notified whenever we we upload them. Have a good day.